Good morning students. Today we will discuss about activity number 7. Identify the status of fire monitor to take required action. Okay. So here what we should do is identify and add the IoT components and devices required from scenario given in the step 3. So connect the IoT components and devices to MCU. And step 3 what we have is write a Python code for following logic. If fire monitor detects fire then open the door, turn on the water sprinkler or we can use uh, fire sprinkler, put off the fire, okay. Then raise an alarm and print the message, open or unlock on the LCD monitor. If the fire monitor is off, then close and lock the door, turn off the water sprinkler or fire sprinkler, turn off the alarm and print the message, close slash lock on the LCD monitor, okay. So simulate that one, we need a fire, okay. So we'll also produce some fire to check whether fire monitor is reading the value or not, okay. So here the input as I always tell, when you read this, you'll understand. If fire monitor detects fire, so this is the main thing. All other things work based on the fire monitor input, okay. So this is the input device, remaining all output device. So I will go to the packet tracer file. I already done this activity, it's working. Okay, so before that, uh, I will just show you how to add and uh, drag and drop this device. Okay, so I'll open the, this one. Okay, so this is the question. This I will remove how to add fire. I'll show you later. Okay, so first thing, add fire monitor. Okay, go for fire monitor. Okay, then I will change the name as uh, fire monitor. Then we have MCU, MCU, I put this MCU, then we have alarm, this is alarm, okay, change the name as alarm, then we have LCD display, LCD display, change the name as LCD, make it capital, that's four, okay, uh, then we have sprinkler, so in the question they ask you to choose what uh, water sprinkler what i will do i have will use fire sprinkler okay specifically used for putting up the fire so fire sprinkler you can even use water sprinkler also no issue okay so i'll just put fire sprinkler okay so the spelling should be correct okay. fire sprinkler okay done after that what we need is let me read the question. Door. Okay. So, door also I have to add like this. Okay. And you can connect the devices in any ports. So, based on that, you have to write the program. So, what I am going to do is I am going to connect fire monitor into D0. Okay. Which cable I will use? Always I am using custom cable. IoT custom cable as well. Okay. So, go here. D0. D0. Then we have D1 door. You can choose any ports, but based on that, you have to change the program. Okay. So D2 sprinkler. Do not choose fast Ethernet. Fast Ethernet for connecting to any Ethernet device like switch. But here I am using MCU. LCD, I will connect D3. Sorry. D3. So I will choose D0 again. And then D4 alarm. Okay. D4 alarm. Okay, now D0 connected to fire monitor, the one which uh, reads the fire. Remaining all output devices like a fire sprinkler, which put off the fire by spraying water, door, then LCD, then alarm. Okay, now our program. So before that, we want to put the fire. So fire monitor will monitor or read the fire. Okay, so how do we put the fire? So here, see, I want to put a fire like this. How do we add this? Okay. So I'll put here if I put fire, I cannot see anything. Okay, I can see only fire monitor and fire sprinkler, but I need the fire symbol. For that, we have specific feature called as thing. In IoT packet we have a thing. So change the name. So type thing. See, I type thing, you'll get thing, drag and drop. Whatever thing we need, just change the name. So here I need fire, just put the name fire. Then go here, open the fire. There will be thing editor. There new component in the new you have to choose components it's there whenever you install the packet tracer you will get a folder like components okay just you want to 
click the thing okay yes i did now click add add and drop a thing the change the name whatever you want i i need fire so i put the name fire just click the thing go to thing editor there is new component so inside the components we can see many components say air cooler alarm everything is there i want to add a fire click fire okay now it should work like fire so what i need to do i have to go for programming javascript new okay i want to create a javascript main dot javascript the code is i already have the code from google okay so i already written that code into uh, a program i'll add that code i'll give you the code also for you okay so that code for fire is this one function setup set device property get name this one okay just copy this one you want to go and put into sorry here you have to put like this okay once you run this it will start giving fire okay just leave it okay it will be done now the program for the this is the one which you have to activate the fire so when the fire is on the fire monitor will detect it read it okay now the program for my program what i need is okay go to new you know we'll use mt python now mafi mt python blink python go down blink python create main.py already python program is there okay so some template is there you can just edit that one here i already run the program okay so i'll go for that and i will just uh, copy the program and explain okay because i don't want to type again okay so i already run this program i didn't get the program from google i write my own program okay so you can also try your program but here as you know the time constraints i'm just going to copy paste the program and i will explain you how it is working okay so let's go here inside the main python and just copy my program okay now the first thing i told you the fire monitor is an input device okay so where i connected zero so pin mode of zero comma in the remaining one two three for all our output so that's why you put pin mode one two three and this one is four okay a mistake four out okay so here first thing i always tell from gpio import char means i am going to import everything wildcard okay and everything from gpio package general purpose input output so what is inside gpio we have read and write function that will be digital read digital write like this digital read digital write custom read custom write analog read analog write all the read write function will be available in gpio package okay i am importing everything from time import char means inside that i am importing sleep and delay sleep and delay coming under time now inside the main function definition what i have in c++ we will put a curly bracket right so c++ but here i put colon when i put the colon when i press enter wherever the cursor takes you there you want to type the code okay so i have to here if i put uh, one step one uh, character left side or right side to show error so you should be in the same uh, cursor location to type okay we declared input output then we go for blink blinking just for testing the program works or not okay then inside the while loop i have some statements so while true so inside that i have some statements like uh, i am checking whether the fire monitor is on or off okay so fire monitor detects the fire or not okay so whenever i keep the fire near the fire monitor it will detect it so how do we check that digital read of zero equal to equal to high so why mr use digital read see when i go inside the specification okay uh, there is no function given okay they are just okay so what we do is as it is connected to digital port i will use anyhow this input device right so i will use digital read if digital read of zero equal to equal to high and high that means if the fire monitor detects any fire then inside the if loop if you want to write something put the colon then enter the key then the cursor will take you to this location there you want to turn on what are things you have to turn on one comma high where is one door should be open so digital write output device means it should be write either digital write or analog write or custom write so why i use digital write when i open the door i could see digital write okay so it's custom write so i'll go for this is d1 right so d1 is custom write so maybe i put the wrong Uh, function okay custom write of one comma high okay then what about uh, two two i connected sprinkler so open the sprinkler 
there i am using again custom right okay so there also i can use custom right done so one so here it is one zero means close one means open okay so you can put uh, even one or high just put one here okay let me check then uh, what about uh, alarm connected to fourth bin right so alarm is which function they use digital right okay so high so i put digital right of four comma high yani so when the smoke is fire is detected fire monitor detects the fire meter will be high that case door will be what we need that uh, let me check that uh, condition detects the fire door should be open see when the fire monitor detects fire door should be open okay so here door open means open is 1 that's why d1 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 2 is fire sprinkler so when you fire is detected the sprinkler should start working it should spray water so for that i need custom right 1 comma on so i put custom right 1 comma sorry 2 comma 1 okay because 2 is the pin number where fire sprinkler connected and to turn on the device we need to put 1 here okay now digital right of 4 comma high so this is the fourth bin where i connected alarm alarm will be active when you give digital right and the sim at uh, the value for making it active alarm will be high or one okay i put high now to write a message onto the which one lcd screen i need to write custom right of 3 comma what is the message open slash unlock double quotes you have to put then close then sleep for one second okay after that else part else part means the fire is not there fire is not detected that means the digital rate of 0 will be low in that case i put else part so after putting else you have to put a colon then press enter key then the cursor will take you to next line there you want to type all the opposite condition okay so here i put custom rate of 1 comma 1 so you have to put custom rate of custom i'll type okay see you custom right of there it is 1 comma 1 means it is 1 comma 0 and here digital right of 2 comma 1 so here it will be custom right okay custom whatever function we use there same function you have to down use down you have to use down but the value will be opposite okay it is 1 there means or on 0 means off then for alarm fourth pin digital right of 4 comma high here it is low then for message to be displayed on the screen custom right of 3 comma close or lock okay after writing this program you have to run this okay say here the fire is there fire is nearby the fire monitor that's why uh, sprinkler is on door is on open unlock message and alarm is high what i will do now i will keep the fire away from the fire monitor now this is near right i will keep this away now let's see what happens after few seconds uh, this sprinkler will be turned off okay it will take some seconds okay i think put some sleep like that so when you keep it away for few seconds it will turn off okay so let's see for few seconds it is still okay on so i'll check that uh, so everything is uh, custom right 1 comma 0 2 comma 0 low okay this one i'll give okay now okay there is an error here custom right uh, this one okay that's why error here now clear output and run now again uh, there is a spelling mistake here okay custom right here now there was a now it's okay okay now i'm running again now everything is see the fire is away okay so it is close lock door close fire sprinkler is uh, sprinkler is off alarm is off now i keep the fire near to the fire monitor let's see let's see sprinkler starts uh, spraying water okay door is open it is open unlock in the message and alarm is on now keep the fire away and let's see 
it's close fire sprint lock off door close lcd message close lock and alarm is off understood again i'm getting back near the fire monitor everything is changing understood this is the program for putting off the fire so when the fire happens in a building what's the iot solution for us like this okay hope you understood bye only thing is when you are running the program make sure there is no error i was not i didn't check that once okay so when i checked that i saw some mistakes here okay there was a, a w was the repeated two times custom right was having spelling mistake here that's why the else part was not working so when i remove the errors now it's working properly okay so last bye